first song is Peace is Flowing Like a River. The words are here. We will be very happy if you could join us in singing Peace is Flowing Like a River. The anthem of the Sadhu Vaswani Meditation Garden. Mayor Michael Ganelli will now introduce the town council and felicitate our honored guests. Uh, this, this garden was created for days just like this. And it's great to see so many religions represented, and that's what this garden is about. This garden is truly a place to come, sit, meditate, pray, relax, and just enjoy some quiet space. So this garden is open to each and every one of you every single day of the year. Pastor Pietro Pinto from the Immaculate Conception Church and Deacon Earl Connolly from the Immaculate Conception Church. Thank you so much for coming here. I'd like to also introduce my town council and who are very supportive of the construction of this garden, Councilwoman Sue Piero, <laughs> Councilman Gary Jeffers, <laughs> Councilman Robert Constantino, Councilman James Clancy and Deputy Mayor John Bickler. I will just take a couple of minutes and introduce to you the humble little work that is being carried on by the Sadhu Vaswani mission. And our revered founder, Sadhu Vaswani, built a beautiful garden in which he sowed seeds. And we are happy that New York is one such beautiful tree that has grown and is giving shelter to so many who are hungry and long for the love of God. I think the last time that Dada was here, he said to me that this garden represents to him heaven on earth. And <laughs> having, having heaven on earth in Sea Caucus is a pretty cool thing, I think. <laughs> to, you know, to me it represents a lot, but I think it's probably the only place in the world well, I know it is, that you can sit in quiet, look out over a beautiful marsh, look out at the wildlife that's in the Meadowlands, and in the, in the distance, in the far distance, see the Empire State Building. So that really doesn't happen anywhere else. And this truly, truly is, to me, and I know to Dada, heaven on earth. So thank you for those kind words. Dada regards himself as a pilgrim on the path of love. His love extends to all of God's creation. He sees the master of God in the face of each and every one of us, in the poor and the broken, the downtrodden, the sick, the less fortunate. Indeed, he believes in birds and animals, I can tell you that from my heart, and the images that God puts in them. If Dada, and, and the thing that I found um, most amazing is, when Dada speaks, he speaks about all religions. And, I think if Dada was a Christian, he would be St. Francis. <laughs> I, I think that um, that, really, that really is, is his, his calling to see, to see the good in all of us, to see the good in each and every one of us, and to see things like the normal eye wouldn't see them. In fact, that willow tree to the right had fallen several years ago, and for the first time Dada came, there was nothing there but a stump. And I wanted to say, let's get this stump out of here so it looks pretty. And Dada said to me, let the stump stay and let's see what happens. And that's what happened. Wow. Uh, that, 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 tree, that tree now is, is a symbol of this, this area. And the weeping willow tree is truly a beautiful tree. And it's grown and it's matured and it's thriving here. So its life has really been saved by his two words, let it, well, three words, let it stay. The other thing that happened his first trip here was, and if you look behind you, you see a beautiful waterway. But 
the truth is that water goes with the tide in and out and out and in um, a few times a day. And the day that Dada came, I was crushed because it was low tide and it was nothing but mud. But Dada again said, the birds and the animals feed off that mud, and they do. And if you come here at a low tide, you'll see blue herring and you'll see egrets and you'll see seagulls and ducks feeding out in that area. So there is a chain in life and there is things that need to be need to happen and, uh, and sometimes they're not attractive and at other times they're, they're gorgeous but that circle really brings it all together and his wisdom that day really brought the ugliness of that mud it gave me a whole new vision when i see it i see it as beautiful and lastly it's just one rose but on the rose is a key to our city and i wanted you to have that And why, and why that, that key really doesn't open anything, um, it, it really symbolizes the key to our hearts that each, each time that you come here, you open our hearts and our minds, and your, your loving smile, it, your loving smile will always be on our minds, and your thoughts will always be in our minds. So we thank you. I have, God has taken me to many countries and many cities. And I have met many mayors, but let me tell you, I have not met one like him. He, I have met him only twice or thrice, but I have been deeply impressed by his qualities of head and heart. He is a man of faith, he is a man of courage, He's a man of sincerity, he's a man of sympathy, he's a man of service, he's a man of this, that, don't, everything. <laughs> you are truly lucky here. Why was I not born in Sikasa? <laughs> Today we are met together to do a little of meditation. What is meditation? You may have heard the name of Arabia. She was a great Sufi woman saint of Islam. One day she was sitting in a cottage when one of her friends came to visit her. And this one friend looked at the skies and he found that there was glamour in the sky. You know when the sun sets, you have all sorts of colors. So he looked at those colors and he cried out from outside, Rabia, Rabia, come out, come and see the glamour that is in the skies. And Rabia said to him, my brother, come inside, let me take you inside yourself and you will be deeply amazed at the wonderful colors that you have inside you. Detach yourself from the money. This is very, very important. You are not the mind. You are only watching the mind. What is the mind doing? What thoughts is it entertaining? You are not the mind. You are not thinking those thoughts. Just watch the mind. May all be happy and full of peace and bliss. Think of all who dwell in the northern lands and pray in the heart within. May all who dwell in the northern lands be happy and full of peace and bliss. Hello, I'm Poonam Chaitani. I'm coming from Barcelona. It's my first time in the Sadhu Madhvaswani Meditation Garden. I enjoyed a lot uh, the meditation today. And it was the first time I was in front of Dada. And it was a great pleasure for me meeting him. Good afternoon. 
I'm Madhu from Andorra. Uh, I'm only I have come to visit my family here in New Jersey, and I attended uh, Dada's uh, meditation, which was very interesting. And I hope someday he will come to Andorra. Also.